While it's always lingered in the rather large shadows of its competition, Kia's Optima is all new and ready to do battle for 2011. The Optima's cabin has been groomed and tailored. Seating is wide and a tad on the firm side, but may be outfitted with optional heated and cooled front seats. The center stack is thoughtfully angled 10 degrees towards the driver and finished in a flat black with buttons and dials that have a real solid quality to them. Steering effort is light but feels a bit artificial. There isn't much feedback from the front wheels. Sitting between those front wheels is a direct injected 2.4 liter straight four with 200 horsepower and 186 pound-feet of torque. A direct injected and turbocharged 2 liter inline four supplants the Optima's old 2.7 liter V6 and assumes the helm as the performance engine with 274 horsepower and 269 pound-feet of torque. Our top end SX model featured steering wheel mounted paddle shifters, HID headlights, a sport tuned suspension, and an aggressive exterior appearance kit. Due to what we attributed as incomplete transmission calibration, the Optima SX returned from the quarter mile lanes with a rather subpar time of 15.7 seconds at 90.7 miles per hour. The gear changing difficulties were especially evident out of the hole where our test team extracted a 0 to 60 best of 7.4 seconds. The base Optima, giving up over 70 horsepower and 80 pound-feet of torque, but weighing 100 pounds less, needed 7.9 seconds to hit 60. It finished the quarter mile in 16.1 seconds at 88.3 miles per hour. On our figure eight course, the Optima Turbo semi-redeemed itself by claiming a 27.5 second run, shifting issues and all. That's a full second faster than the normally aspirated model which completed the course in 28.5 seconds. In our 60 to zero braking test, the turbo model stopped in 125 feet. Beating it by just a foot, the base model stopped from 60 in 124 feet. All one needs is a glance at the new Optima's impressive body to see Kia's dedication to the future. A hybrid is due next year to round out the lineup, but we suspect the base and turbocharged variants will be propping the lineup just fine.